Hello everyone, this is John and Kylie with Fly Skins. Uh, today I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to show uh, how to cut the exoskin in different uh, ways, how to make different types of materials to help you set up your perfect fly. Also I'm going to show you uh, some of the new skins that are just now being released. Uh, they're metallics. This is like a metallic gold and brown. I've got a golden olive and olive here. I've also got a copper and black and a rust color and then I have two pearl colors uh, that come in a pearl green and then this pearl red. So there's a lot of possibilities there in itself but uh, what I really want to show off uh, I've heard over the last uh, well or well actually since Exoskin came out people wondering how you cut the material so this should help quite dramatically. Um, if you want to cut strips um, I'll show you how to do that. If you want to cut fins, I'll show you how to do that as well. And then uh, I'll show you how to make some biots, legs, and um, maybe you can come up with something else in addition to that. So, how do I cut these strips? Well, they're pretty easy actually. You can either use razor scissors, like I've shown in previous videos, or you can use a, it's like a rotary razor tool right here. Okay, And what that's going to allow you to do is just make one clean, consistent cut. All right, so you're going to need a cutting board, the cutter, and then a straight edge in order to do this. Now the exo skin comes pretty thick, but that's okay because it's all in technique when you're tying your flies. So you can tie extremely small flies with uh, the exo skin, even though it's thick. It's just technique. So if you cut a small strip, when you stretch it, it goes down to nothing. And if you have a thicker one, you know, if you want to do a worm or a larva or whatever, um, you know, you just make it thicker. Or wider. So how do I do that? Well, it's simple. I line up my razor rotary tool here against the straight edge. And just cut one strip. Look at that. Whoops, I'm not really in the frame there. There you go. So you're going to have that. And then think of the possibilities with this. You can use this to make thousands of nymph patterns. Okay. So there's the strips. Pretty easy, right? So the next thing would be a fin. Well, I'm going to introduce you to something that you probably have in your house already, but I would suggest buying a new pair uh, just in case they're dull. So these are nail clippers, essentially, the plier version. Um, and then these are, I think, cuticle clippers. You can use these tools to make a lot of detail. Uh, you can even make some cool extended body tails. And you can use just your standard nail clippers as well. Okay. I found that out by accident the other day on my boat and I was trimming up some fins. I wanted to make a little thinner version of it and I was thinking, heck, I'll try it out and it ended up working really well. So this is kind of new to me as well. You know, there's a lot of things you learn as you go. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make biots. Uh, biots, you know, for legs on stoneflies and uh, nymphs, your prince nymphs, things like that, it's pretty easy to do. So I use my rotary razor tool again and you basically cut your exoskin into the width that you want and then you're going to make um, alternating triangular patterns or cuts in order to uh, achieve what you want. So if I'm going to make biots, I want them about an inch long, I simply start with an inch wide, cut it, and then alternate. And then I have a little bitty biot. All right, so you can make a bunch of those to tie with, all in a short period of time, and they're more durable, unlike regular feather biots. Okay, so if I want to make a cool long leg for a stonefly or a grasshopper or whatever, I do the same thing, but I just make it a little bit um, longer, and then all I got to do is tie a knot in that and now I have a leg pretty cool right alright so how do I make a fin well first I want to cut a strip of the material and this could be the same purpose for making a tail as well so I'm gonna tape take these plier um, clippers you could also use the nail clippers to cut it take the curve of the blade to make the inside portion of it I'm going to line it up uh, directly on the corner there and then I'm going to clip it. I'm going to make that cut, 
same thing on the other side and there you have that okay so now what do I do well I want to do the other portion of that I can take that same curve I'm going to line it up with that portion of the point now that I've just made and I want to leave a little bit of space to cut the strip so that I can tie it in same thing cut it come on the other side find that point and then you can see I've already made that tail okay so one way to make this easier you can cut away this tag waist piece so that you can um, see where it is whenever you put your rotor razor down or scissors uh, from that point to cut the rest of it so I'll take my razor scissors here and I'm going to cut just where I want to tie it in if I want to make a tail and as you can figure you could probably make your um, fin the same way you could just cut it off at that point tie in a little tab that's all I'm doing right now is I'm cutting the length portion okay so there you have it nice tail that you can tie in you can tie some bunny strip on both sides tie it in and make your your tail all right so all right well what about something more complicated let's get into that so if I wanted to make let's say a Helgramite extended body tail or a dragonfly or whatever the case may be all I gotta do um, you know I could use this big clipper here and I can make the general shape make it a little larger and then I can go back with like the cuticle trimmer or something else and I can cut out some more detail and this takes a little bit of time but it's really not that bad the results are worth it and as you can see here too you could use this for like a leech use that for the tip of a leech and I'm making this a little large uh, mostly so you guys can see it okay so I've got kind of a tail that is a little larger and it kinda has a few curves in it I'm gonna finish that off I'm gonna cut out a little tie-in tab and the razor scissors are great too because you can really do a lot of detail with those as long as you got steady hands and didn't drink too much caffeine all right so let's say I want to make that a Helgramite body well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, take my cuticle trimmers here and I'm gonna cut out like the little portion on the back and I can add some detail and I can go in here and I can continue to make these cuts and then make the cool little um, I don't know if they're necessary legs on the Helgramite but they're uh, part of the at part of the uh, rear end I'm not sure what I was trying to say there anyway so I go back and forth and I'm creating a lot of detail just by taking little bitty chunks out of that pretty neat there it's in focus now and come to the other side same thing It makes really cool extended bodies. I'll hold this back here so you can see it better. And there you have it. So, more exoskin coming out, more ways to cut it. Possibilities are endless, folks. Have fun, keep tying.